Hi everyone, it's Carolyn Sander from Care Bear Stamps. That's C-A-R-E-B-E-A-R stamps.com. And I'm here today with the Creating Kindness Design Team. We're having another Around the World blog hop today. And the theme for today is art inspiration. Or taking a piece of art that you enjoy and love and using that to help inspire your project. So the piece of art that I chose for today was this painting by Van Gogh, The Sunflowers. Um, obviously, I did not replicate his painting, uh, but I did try to incorporate some elements from, from the painting, such as the texture in the background here, and this little vase here, and of course the sunflower. Um, so yeah, I, my tutorial today is actually going to be showcasing how to create this vase using a couple different dies that Stampin' Up! has. Um, get started just by showing you first of all sometimes I if I want to die and I don't have what I need uh, to create that die such as the vase today I will look in my catalog this is something that I've been doing more recently I'll look through my catalog at the dies that I have and a lot of the sets have different shapes in there and yeah I'll try and look at things and think of them in a different way and well what could I use that for or how could I make this into what I'm looking for. So today's, the dies that I used were the Everyday Jars Framelits and the Frozen Treats Framelits. I took this little jar and this bowl and I created a vase. So I will show you how I did that. Uh, on a side note here, our new Stampin' Up! Holiday Catalog came out just as of September 1st. So we're a few days in here now, but that is where this lovely uh, sunflower stamp came from, pardon me. Um, it's from the Painted Harvest stamp set, and of course I had purchased the Painted Harvest bundle. Um, so yeah, this is probably one of my most favorite suites in the catalog, the Painted Autumn Suite. And yeah, it's on page 48 and 49 of this new uh, holiday catalog. So make sure you check that out. I'll have a full list of supplies that I used today on my blog, so I won't go into too much detail, um, other than the fact that I'm going to show you how I created our little vase here today. So, move that out of the way. Like I said, I took the bowl and the jar framelit, uh, and I created a vase with these two dies. You see here, the vase, oh, pardon me, there's the top of the vase. When I created my vase, I wanted some, I didn't want a flat piece of cardstock. I wanted to have some texture there. So again, I looked through my stamp sets and I thought, what stamp set do I have that can give me sort of that uh, textured look? Um, and I chose to use the Coffee Cafe stamp set here. And I stamped using crushed curry. I stamped this coffee cup on crushed curry cardstock and then using my daffodil delight I stamped it again using the daffodil cardstock all right so that's that was the first step here now what we're going to be doing is taking our big shot Ooh, me. I have the old plate it still works great or the old platform and um, I haven't invested in the new one uh, but yeah, it's pretty much the same as the standard mat they have now. Just looks a bit different. Um, yeah, and I have some my cutting plates, which of course I need. And then I have my jar. So if you see what I did here, I basically lined up the top of the jar with the pattern on the coffee cup. Lay that flat. One of my favorite things to do to make sure this doesn't move around is take a piece of washi tape and just lay it over your cardstock and your die. I'm going to run that through there. Run that through there. Whoops, a doozy. And you have the jar. Okay. I'm going to do that again. This time, I'm going to do it with the bottom half. 
off of the jar. Again, a piece of washi to hold it in place. Another pad on top. And wind it through. Okay, so now we have our two jars cut out. I'm going to do it again in the espresso cardstock. I did not stamp this one, but I wanted to create a line there to separate the two halves of the base. I did try to mimic lighter, darker, and I did try to mimic also the separation of the two colors there by using a piece of early espresso. We'll run that through. I actually don't need to do the whole thing either. I could just do here. Just do part of it. Line it up there maybe. And I want it to look be straight across. You can always go in with my trimmer after. But you'll see what I'm getting at here after I've cut this out. Okay, and run that through. So now we have those three pieces, and where did I put them? Oh, they're hiding. I'm already making a mess, hiding under my other pieces. So we have these three pieces here. Okay, let me put this down. And next is I'm going to use the bowl, <laughs> which again here it is. So I'm using the bowl from the frozen treats framelits. And what I'm going to do is to create the top of my vase, I'm actually going to tuck this under like so and run it through my bake shot. And that is going to give me the nice top of my vase. That is how you turn your jar into a vase. Um, again, I'm going to use some washi. Hold that in place and run it through. I don't need to even go all the way through pardon me, because you're just doing the top, that top piece there. And that's pretty much it. So then the next day, thing I did was I would, I took this here, oh I did round it off a bit with my snips. So you have it like this. I wanted it maybe just a slightly bit rounder there on the edges. So I just take my snips, curve my edges there, make them a bit more smooth. And yeah, there you go, then that. And then, oops, we need to snip this guy off too. I only need the bottom half of him. So like so. And then just glue those together. One, two, three. And we want a bigger base, make it bigger. Smaller, make it smaller, right? That's that. So that's my quick and easy tutorial today. Uh, I also used some of the texture paste and I used this palette knife today to get that nice textured background. And then I also sponged the edges. I found, I if you look, it kind of looks like these flowers in this uh, painting are droopy or weathered. Uh, I could not do that with this beautiful sunflower stand, but what I did do to try and make it look more uh, droopy or <laughs> more weathered, I should say, was I inked the edges of the stamp with some soft suede ink. And yeah, I put some of these fallen petals here using these touches of nature elements that are from the current Stampin' Up! annual catalog. I sponged those also with soft suede ink to coordinate and the rest came together pretty easily. Like I said, if you want to check out all the supplies, please go and visit my blog. Uh, that's where the full post will be with some more details for you. And thanks so much for visiting today. If you have any questions whatsoever, uh, please just leave me a message or send me an email. 
and I hope you enjoyed the rest of today's blog hop and video hop. Make sure to check out the comments section of this YouTube video and that's where you'll see the other links uh, to the other video tutorials that we're sharing with you today. I hope you have a wonderful day and we'll see you again. Bye bye for now.